Hey, good morning guys. What's going on? Uh, I just wanted to bring back the year review on this uh, sidewalk we did, this dry pour. Uh, it's an early morning here in New York in uh, April. So uh, we got some uh, dew on the lawn. We just did some sprinklers. Um, you can see here, after one year of the dry pour, um, this thing is uh, still in uh, amazing shape. Um, we are extending the house and this will be coming out in another year. So I don't want to spend money on uh, getting the cement done professionally. So. You guys can see uh came out pretty good. Um, I would recommend it. Uh, if you have the the time and the energy to do uh, all that moving of cement or if you have a hand to help. Um, you can see the glue though did stain our uh, pavers white. Uh, I didn't care again because I just needed something there, uh, temporary. Um, but uh, yeah guys, if you're interested in doing uh, a dry pour cement that does work just be patient and uh, yeah I, uh, it wasn't too bad other than that fact that it was like the hottest day of the year um, I had no liquid in I was like dehydrated it was a horrible day but uh we got it done and uh, yeah it looks good so uh, if you guys are interested in doing it you guys reach out any questions at all just uh, message me and I'll be glad to help out all right guys thanks for watching have a good day so you can see before we started the project, this is what the sidewalk looked like. Uh, the brick started collapsing and uh, deteriorating from the rainwater. So uh, we decided to run some dry wells. So we had to take all this up. This is underneath all the brick. Uh, before we clean up the mess, there was a nice little sidewalk, uh, probably from the 1980s, maybe earlier, 1970s. Uh, but then we cut into the cement, the original sidewalk. All right, so we ran the dry lines. I'm sorry, ran the, um, the lines, covered them with dirt and backfilled um, here, some material. About here before 70, we uh, actually dug the hole for the dry wells. And this is right before we got the bags of cement here. We got about 75 Blue. bags for this uh, space, which is, uh, I believe it was uh, three we feet dry by uh, 50 feet. Um, I ran dry yeah, wells. Yeah, it was a long day in the hot here. sun here. Um, yeah, I think side. it was like 92. <clears throat> Uh, the sun was on my head all day. I don't have any hair, so uh, probably should wear a hat. I was dehydrated, sweating. I had not enough time to finish this because my kids were out for a certain amount of time, so I kind of had to rush through this. Um, not the best situation. Um, don't forget to get the um, those uh, those separators. They go between uh, the expansion joints for uh, the heat and the cold, so that's the concrete doesn't uh, crack. This is after uh, I believe there's about 35 bags that are down. Um, you can see it's relatively oh, yeah. level. Uh, I used a piece of plywood on the bottom there, two by four. Uh, to kindly uh, get some of those larger rocks down as I uh, sift the cement back and forth. Um, it was a, uh, it was, it was a lot of work, guys. It was a lot of work. I saved a thousand dollars from the quote of what I had get for the ready mix. So. Um, would I do it again? Probably not, but I wanted to do it just because there was so many people doing it, and this is a temporary fix here for uh, our uh, sidewalk, so, you know, it wasn't really a big deal if uh, something happened. You can see that sun blaring on this day. It was so hot. Um, at this point, we are now going to be ready for um, for the spraying, or I actually might put some uh, some marks in the, in the cement first. You can see... Uh, the pipes I ran, uh, I got this all from Home Depot. It was, uh, I believe, the, the total amount for the lines, the drywall pipes, the cement, and delivered. I think it was like two eighty something, um, on oh, compared to with a price of thirteen hundred dollars for uh, Ready Mix then, uh, to come and uh, take care of it for us. So you can see these tools right here. I got from Harbor Freight for nine ninety nine. It was a, it was a pack of like six. So I had a selection of different tools that uh, I could use. This is really the only one I used. Um, this one to just uh, make the nice edging around the outside of the concrete. Uh, you can see the edging is all complete at this point. Um, this is you can see the shadow on the house. So this is uh, probably like four hours into it, maybe five hours. Uh, again, this was 70 bags of concrete being poured and leveled and then etched around the outside, along with the expansion joints. And this is what it looks like right before we spray the water. Um, then once we start spraying the water, we're going to spray on the mist setting the two times. Um, we're going to do it over the course of two hours. So we're going to do spray in the mist setting. We're going to do right. uh, the whole thing, get it a nice dark gray. After better. that, we and are going dry. to spray it again an hour later. And then um, the third time after that, 
second hour is over, I'm going to go back now with the shower setting and soak it down as, as, as much as we can without causing too much uh, water. Obviously, if there, it starts running off, we don't want to do that because when it runs off, we lose some of that glue to hold the cement together that bonds the cement. And then, uh, so just enough to, uh, to soak through the, the concrete itself. You can see as the color changes here as we uh, start soaking the, the concrete. Not so, I'm sorry, not so good. We're missing the concrete at this point. Um, and just make sure it all turns a dark gray. You see all that stuff on the outside bricks, uh, all that residue and rocks, um, that will stain and that will stay there forever. As you can see, uh, mine currently has white bricks on the outside. They used to be red. But now they're white. Again, it was a temporary thing, so I didn't care. I really was at this point. I was running out of time. I just had to get it done. Um, and for rushing, it really wasn't that bad. Here's a second uh, misting setting. This is the second first, application, one hour after our first you. time. Um, and you can see that uh, it's starting to dry already. It was a really hot day. And now we're going to go for the second misting. I know when you run dry wells, that's not probably the proper way to do it, but um, I just need to solve that uh, rainwater issue, get it out of the way from the house, uh, and then um, once we extend the house uh, next year, we will start to, uh, we'll have to re redone anyway, so uh, it will all be broken up, and then we will have uh, contractors do it uh, the correct way. Now we're, uh, we're uh, finishing up the second uh, misting of uh, the dry pour. Just want to make sure again you get it all dark gray. Make sure all light spots, especially uh, the ones that are in the sun, especially if you do it in the hot weather. Um, make sure it's all nice dark gray. And uh, as we move along here, you see all those rocks. See the, the, the gravel-like material on top. If there's any way you could sift those, if you do do this, sift those. Make sure none of those are showing or get... Um, a different type of concrete but this concrete had a lot of those pebbles which after everything dried a lot of those came right off um, okay, so I'm guessing that's a that's a downside is just be a little more mindful of uh, all of the pebbles and rocks that are at the top you sift them back and forth with the setting. two by four they no do go just... away they do get buried but there's a point where it's just um, you know right. uh, four hours back breaking work I just uh, didn't, didn't really care towards the end much but um, just a recommendation for you. So now we got the, the spray setting. We are now on the third hour, the third application, I'm sorry, the third spray. So this is after the second hour. We are now spraying it, but not too much. I uh, just wanna kinda soak it. You're gonna see the water soak right through the top layer and it's gonna start going through the concrete and it's gonna start going through the dry concrete, making its way towards the bottom. And you see certain areas pool up a little bit. You want to make sure, uh, again, it doesn't pool up too much because once it starts pulling up, um, that glue is going to start coming out. Um, there are certain parts of this that I did overspray that I didn't notice this happening. So you just want to be mindful of uh, just not having it soak up and start pulling off. Again, you just want to get a nice dark gray. You want to just get it through, especially the first time you soak it on the shower setting. You just want it to see it go through the concrete or go through and just disappear and it will look dry and um, dark gray you'll see no water on top and uh, just let it be that way once it's completely soaked through one shower setting just go back give it another hour come back and then you're gonna do it again and then uh, after this you're gonna do it three more times in the shower setting so you're going to do the shower setting like I'm doing now. You're going to wait an hour, then you come back, do shower setting again. You're going to wait an hour, come back, do shower setting again. And then um, if you like to come back for the fourth time, that's fine. Again, as long as it doesn't pull up. Uh, I know I did it four times, I believe. I did it four times. Um, you're welcome to do it four times. It won't hurt. Again, just as long as there's no water pooling up and foaming out, um, you will notice that... Uh, uh, I did a little too much on this first time. I was just a little overconfident on the spray, but uh, either way, it still came out pretty good. All 
I was just, you know, a little worried that it was a hot day, it was going to dry too fast, and maybe wouldn't get through, but that was not the case. So as we wrap this up, we're going to see uh, something I took today. You're going to see the sidewalk up close. Uh, this is one year later. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. There is some moss on the sidewalk. We do have a lot of shade on the side of the house. So uh, you will see the moss. But overall, it's a great experience. You guys, I recommend it. If you have any questions, hit me up. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys.